shooters welcome back to the workbench today we are gonna prepare some uh, 3d printed 40 millimeter shells to be filled uh, with smoke compound and um, make some cool smoke rounds uh, this is gonna be part one this part we're just gonna deal with taking your printed rounds uh, your bodies here and getting them fused so I'm gonna do it a couple different ways I'll show you one which I have more hopes of which is the double fuse method um, I'm also going to test the single fuse method, but I think this double fuse met, uh, method here will um, be a little more reliable and a little less chance of blowing all the way through into the smoke charge. Pretty simple. Just uh, take your shell. I got a power drill. Um, we got some cannon fuse, some JB weld, and super glue. I'll be trying both. Um, something to mix them with and mix it on, and then our uh, bodies themselves. So I'm just going to drill two holes, uh, kind of kind of equal space here. There's one. And there's two. As you can see, they uh, go right through there. And then I will take my fuse. I'm going to measure, just kind of estimate how much I'll need. Grab my scissors here and we'll cut right there so set that aside so that's the start of it right there take your fuse and just feed in part way I'm not going to feed in all the way yet just till it starts coming out the bottom there the reason is i want to coat this fuse to seal up this hole uh, behind it otherwise when you launch a shell the uh, hot gas gun from the gunpowder is going to go right through those holes into your charge. And depending on what you have in there, most smoke charges would be fine. Although uh, the round might blow apart in your barrel and then you'll have a whole mess to deal with and possibly burning smoke compound in your barrel. Um, if you have something like ninja smoke or worse, uh, I wouldn't want to be holding on to that barrel. So simple as that. I'm going to mix up a couple little spots of JB weld real quick. Just going to coat around the fuse here. Something to note. I don't know if it's in the dictionary, but everybody uh, debates on the spelling of fuse. Um, the way I was told by somebody who I kind of trust in this subject, the word fuse with an S refers to a burning fuse like this, and fuse with a Z refers to a mechanical fuse like on an artillery shell or a 40 millimeter he grenade uh, like i've shown in some of my other videos so we'll apply it to our our fuse with an s here that could be wrong but that's how i'm gonna use those spellings there's probably some old rule that says they're interchangeable but Who knows? So then I'm just going to slide the fuse down in there deeper. You want a good amount sticking out on the inside because sometimes these smoke compounds can be hard to ignite. Uh, so you want, like I said, you want it to burn in there as much as possible. And then leave a decent amount of loop here because fuses are hard to ignite um, with the uh, gunpowder. So the more sticking out, the better. And then I'm just going to take some of this uh, Gorilla Super Glue and I'm going to, on the inside, I'm just going to put, put it down in there around the base of the fuse just to give an extra seal. And I'll be trying out a couple different ways. I'll be testing out the single fuse as well. Just probably fill these with uh, sand or something, something that's safe to um, do these tests until I have a reliable design. But this is a way that's been shown to me that guys have done with with some lower power uh, lower power cartridges. But it's pretty neat. Uh, it works out well. After that, I'm just gonna pour my smoke mix in, uh, super glue the cap on, and then load it just as I would any other 40 millimeter shell. So we'll let those dry. 
I'm also going to do it with one of these uh, Paraflare 3D printed cases. If you've gotten my email with the files, you have this file. This has been designed by the uh, guy who made the file to have a fuse hole partially all the way through it. Um, what I might do if I try that out and it, I don't like the center fuse, I might just fill that in with JB Weld or any other epoxy and drill two separate holes. And here we are with uh, five rounds to try out. I got two of the Paraflare cases that I'll use for smoke and then um, three of these smoke boom cases. We'll see what fuses best and I will get back to you. Um, just a couple things to note. Make sure you're using some good quality Canon fuse. Not the uh, cheap stuff you usually find at the fireworks store and not the stuff that's on fireworks. Um, always be when you buy fuse, I have a huge roll of this stuff. I probably bought eight years ago and it's still good. I keep in an ammo can. Stuff lasts forever. And I believe this is two or three seconds an inch it burns. Um, you want to know your burn rates and how that fuse is going to burn. You don't, there's some fuses out there that sparkle, crackle, and there's some that burn extremely fast, um, like an inch a foot. So that's usually what you find on your fireworks, and it's usually thin and not near as strong, way less reliable. You want a good, thick, waterproof um, Visco Cannon fuse. Okay, guys, we're out here at the range. I got a couple of our smoke rounds. I just filled them with chalk for the moment just to test out. We're going to see how well these fuses light. I'll be shooting them through the uh, brake action LMT 40 millimeter just because um, I haven't shot it in a while. And it seems like a good time to get out. So let's see how these do. Okay, time for a little bit of analysis from our test. Uh, here are all four bases of the rounds I shot. Um, as you saw, I was shooting pretty close, probably 25 yards. Um, and they all broke apart when they hit. I kind of expected that because these are not the thickest shells, except for this one that actually came apart in the barrel. And you saw a big poof of uh, this lovely chalk here. But... Even though it burst due to, I believe the walls are a little thin for how long that projectile is. Um, also, I didn't have it packed full tight of chalk. And I think that makes a big difference. Uh, having that pressure on the inside keeps it together a little better. And also PLA Plus, like the um, uh, eSun that everybody uses to print their Glocks and stuff. That would probably hold up a lot better. I have a roll of that loaded up on the printer printing right now. So maybe I'll try some projectiles out with that. But a marking round, anyway, you probably are going to more lob it and not as much a direct fire at 25 yards. Uh, that's kind of pointless. But that's what I have to work with right now. And uh, that was the safest way I could do it without having to worry about starting a brush fire. Good news is... All the fuses lit on all of these. There was no gas blow through uh, in the video. You can see a couple of them when they landed, landed like this, and you see the little flames shooting up. That was perfect. That'll light the smoke mixture. Next step will be taking some of these. I'll probably even use some of the, uh, this one's PLA Pro, the body is. So I'll probably use some of that uh, and combine that for the testing for part two. So stick around. By part three, we're just going to be popping some smoke out into the field. Maybe even some different colored smoke if uh, I can get the right chemicals in, in hand. So, hope you liked the video. See you next time.